Welcome back to another episode of Ashton's Trader Joe's Wine and Spirit Review. Today I have something special for you guys, and that is Trader Joe's Diamond Reserve Cab. Yes, Diamond Reserve. The first one to ever be released by Trader Joe's. Unfortunately, they're not selling it at the moment. This was given to me as a gift, uh, but you never know with Trader Joe's. One day they say, oh, we don't have it. We don't know when it's coming back. The next day they get 10 cases. So this is for people that already have it or for people that are gonna buy it in the future. There's the bottle. Let's get into it. All right. Trader Joe's 2017 Diamond Reserve Cab from Napa. It's 100% cab. It is not vegan. Oak level is high. 16 months and 50% new French oak. Alcohol is 14.8. Sulfite level is moderate. Acidity level is moderate to high. Sweetness level is moderate to low. Dryness level is moderate to high. Profile, the nose, let's get into it. Aromas of marionberry and dried violet. A concentrated palette of dark, rich fruit, sage, savory hints of chanterella mushroom, I might be pronouncing that wrong because I don't know what it is. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, and a fine graphite finish. The tasting panel notes. Strong tannic structure. Nice hints of green and white peppercorn. All right. Short and sweet. Let's get this done. So this is the story. This is the Trader Joe's story behind the uh, Diamond Reserve cap. For years, we've used the Trader Joe's Reserve label to showcase our very best deals on the very best wines from the very best wine growing regions in the United States, plus the occasional international entry. We've shown some remarkable constraint, constraint always, always mess that word up, in that time, exclusively using the label for wines that fit into the Reserve, Petite Reserve, Grand Reserve, or Platinum Reserve price tiers. But once we took a sip of this Napa, uh, of this Napa Cab Sauv, we knew the situation demanded a new level. Thus, thus, the Diamond Reserve Cab was born. All right, let's get into it. Go right on the nose. I'm, I'm excited about this one, I really am. This is like the unicorn's milk of Trader Joe's wine, it really is. Let's get into it. I almost went for a taste, I couldn't help myself. Let's just get into the smell. I'm definitely getting the violet, that's for sure. Getting the mushrooms, that's good in the wine. Anytime I smell like a mushroomy vibe in a wine, you know it's that old world wine, not the new vanilla, the vanilla bomb, like every other wine. Mushrooms, the dirt, the tannins, the, the minerals, that's what I want to smell in the wine. Blueberries. So this has a perfect amount of oak. Now it says here that it's high, the oak level is high, but this, this is the perfect amount of oak. I mean, it's not too strong, it's not subtle, it's just the perfect amount of oak here. Get the minerals. Oh, this smells good. All right, let's go for it. A lot of tannins. A lot of tannins. Oh, but good tannins. Smooth tannins. Lingering tannins. We just keep tasting it here. Getting the dark fruit in there. A little bit of boysenberry in there. Definitely getting the white peppercorn in there. Hold on, let me just let it sit. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just changing in my mouth. It's just changing. That's when you know you have a good wine. You don't want a wine to just have a smell, a taste, and it goes away. You want the wine to linger, and you want it to change, and that, that's exactly what this wine is doing. It's changing, I'm getting the peppercorn in there dark fruit in there. For me personally, I'm getting some boysenberry in there, a little tobacco in there. Wow, this is actually really, this is better than I thought it was going to be, if I'm being quite honest. 
Wow, this is good, guys. Let me go for in, uh, let me go for the taste one more time. Oh yeah, this is good. Like I said, great nose. The palate is amazing. I mean, for 20 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, rumor has it that this is a $200 bottle. So if you can get your hands on it, kudos. Because, I mean, who knows if that's true or not, but that's what I've heard in the Trader Joe's circle. Great nose, great palette, great price, Diamond Reserve Cab, Trader Joe's. I mean, I mean, damn, this is good stuff. Like I said, um, they're not selling it right now, but you never know. Tomorrow they could have it. If you have this bottle, savor it. I think this would even be better with a couple years, a uh, couple years age on it couple years in your cellar it would even come out even more wow yes good wine way better than my last video the Shaw Jesus all right guys diamond reserve cab delicious Buy it if you can. If you do have it, let it age for a little while. Keep it in the dark. And yeah, eat it with a steak. I forgot to mention that. This is great steak wine. So this concludes my uh, Trader Joe's Diamond Reserve Cab review. If you like this video, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you next time.